Hi guys, here's the Zenfone 5. I'm going to do a factory reset on this device just so we can uh, uh, put it back to the defaults, um, back to the box condition. No particular reason to do this, just thought I would. So uh, I'm going to press the volume up and then hold the volume down so it's both at the same time. The phone vibrates so you see the Intel Inside logo. Continuing to hold the buttons for another, I don't know, five seconds and it goes into um, basically a menu that says at the top it says uh, Droid Boot Provision 5 uh, we've got a serial number, we've got volume up, volume down so fast boot initially and wait in command so at the moment it says reboot Droid Boot I can use the volume up and volume down to select execute, spelled incorrectly, execute power on camera um, I think I just left it too long. No, I thought I'd gone off with it. Okay, so I'll use the volume down button to choose recover and tap the power button. And uh, it just vibrated again. So back to the Intel Inside logo. And uh, from the Intel Inside logo, we're back to a sort of dead Android logo. Now, this is where we do a second key press. Slightly different from most other devices, unfortunately. Volume up and volume down at the same time will um, normally take that into the Android system recovery mode. So, volume up, volume down to highlight, power button to reset. So, reboot system now is, is chosen. Below that is apply update from ADB. Below that is wipe data factory reset. Below that is wipe cache. So, I'm going to go for the third option which is wipe data factory reset then tap the power button so it now says uh, confirm wipe all data so you need to scroll down to the yes so there's the yes tap the power button so uh, wiping data for formatting data I'm probably going to fast forward this part as even though this is a, the smallest capacity uh, uh, Zenfone 5, it does take a bit of time, so um, data wipe reset. Oh, it actually came back quicker than expected there. Right, so uh, the main menu is back again, it's sitting on uh, reboot system now. You probably can't read that, but take my word for it. Android system recovery 3E, volume up down to highlight, power button to select, reboot system now is a top option. So I'll tap the power button. It's uh, probably going to go through the full factory reset or the full restart now. So obviously we've got the Intel Inside logo again. And uh, we'll just let it go through. So there's your Asus uh, startup screen. And we're getting the spinning... I like how everyone's using these spinning logos now. It's very um, Mac, no. Very Windows 8, no. Very Android. What on earth? Everybody's using these spinning logos now. Nah, okay. They look fine, but I keep forgetting which operating system I'm looking at sometimes. So, um, uh, you can see this is still starting up here. Uh, by the way, one thing I didn't spot earlier on, there's a little orange light up here that uh, uh, comes on, so uh, when it's charging, uh, probably. So, here's the factory reset. Welcome. So, I'm in the UK, so I'm not going to choose American English, like most people who accidentally choose the wrong language. So, English United Kingdom, next. English United Kingdom keyboard, yes. How would you like to connect to the internet? Well, since there's no SIM card in you, how about Wi-Fi only? Next. Turning on Wi-Fi, searching for networks. There's me, there's my neighbour, and probably more if we leave it long enough. So there's my Wi-Fi there. Let me just put the password in. Um, I'll just check that looks correct. Then I'll hide the password and uh, put the phone back down again. So I'll click on connect. Obtaining IP address and connected a wee green light. Quite useful. There's uh, uh, upstairs neighbor through the wall no idea who that is and anyway, that's all my neighbours and that's me at the top so do I have a Google account? Um, yeah but I'm not telling you what it is 
Never lose your stuff. Uh, Google account keeps everything safe. Get an account now. Nope. Uh, ASUS account, create an account. No, I'm just going to pass that. Auto sync data, ASUS corporate email. So this looks like it's all sorts of different services. Oops. Don't click on Plork for ASUS because I have no idea what that is. Go away. So ASUS corporate email, Flickr for ASUS, Google, LinkedIn. Why is everything for ASUS? What is going on? Uh, set date and time automatically, set time zone automatically, 1403, uh, 2014, um, and it's 1.24 in the morning, don't tell my boss because I'm in work in a handful of hours. Next, Inspire Asus, to provide our customers better service enhancements, user experience, blah, 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 blah. please agree, I understand, I would like to participate in this program, nope. Set up complete, your device is ready to use. You can change all the items and settings later. You can return to setup wizard anytime from the applications page. Okay. Here we go. Welcome. Make yourself at home. Create more screens, apps and folders. Okay. Organize and touch your space. Organize and touch your space. Organize your space. Touch and hold. Background to manage wallpapers, shortcuts and widgets and home screens. Okay, doke. So here we are back to the front screen again. Um, wi Fi is connected, power mode, blah blah blah, batteries charging. Um, so let's just have a wee look in the settings. Let's go into battery. So 59% show battery percentage, why not? Um, charging on AC. So yeah, pretty decent. Anyway, that's us. Factory reset completed. Let's do one of them again. So we'll do it from powered on this time. So um, let's see how we get on. Will it allow me to do a reset while it is powered on? So powering off, and it appears to be gone. So let's try that again. Let's see what happens when it powers up this time. So volume up and power at the same time, keeping them held until this menu comes up. Scroll down to recovery and tap the power. It goes off and on again, comes back to Intel inside again. And now it comes back to the dead Android. So now tap volume up and volume down at the same time. Come on. There we go. And reboot system now. To go down. Choose wipe data factory reset. Tap power. Scroll down to yes and tap power. Uh, so initially said E can open temp update script log. E can load volumes misc. Then after I did that reset command, it came up and said wiping data. It's now saying formatting data. Uh, now formatting cache and data wipe complete e can't load update script cannot load volume misc back to this menu again so the menu's reboot system now is selected tap the power and it scrolled things up at the bottom of the screen there I've no idea what it said and it's gone that's it factory reset it vibrated it's came back up Intel inside again and it looks like it's completed the factory reset so there's your ASUS logo again a complete clean reboot again and uh, it should come back up to the initial setup where it asks you to choose your language I expect I'll leave it that much and then we'll switch it back off again thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it click on the wee button that says hey subscribe or click on the wee thumbs up Click on a thumbs up. Click on a thumbs up. Go on. You know you want to. Okay, maybe you don't want to, but I want you to. So just do it anyway, okay? There we go. So that's that uh, completed back to the English United Kingdom. Uh, English United States. Nah, we don't want to be in the United States. We're in the UK. We're in Edinburgh. And it's half past one in the morning. I'm out of here. Have a good one. Bye-bye. 
see you later folks